So now again, let's review. You can use this form of the cosine law in order to um, in order to solve problems where you are given two side lengths and the contained angle. In other words, we're given two sides and the angle between them in an oblique triangle. And we can use this formula, this version of the cosine law, to find the side opposite of the angle. So what we're going to do is sub in the values we're given, and A is side A, which is 11, and B is side B, which is 13. So we sub in our equation, into our equation. So c squared is equal to 11 squared plus 13 squared minus 2 times 11 times 13 times cosine 38. Now, it's really important that you remember bed mass here. And this is often a problem is that students forget that the last thing we're going to do is the subtraction. So what you have to do first is square each term. So c squared is equal to 121 plus 169 minus, and we can do the multiplication here. So 2 times 11 times 13 is 286. And we can add 121 and 169. And so we end up with c squared is equal to 290 minus 286 times cosine 38. Now you should get in the habit of using your calculator all in one, you're doing this all in your calculator in fewer steps. So what we're going to do now is take the square root of both sides in order to solve for c. Now we can do this all in one step in one step on the calculator, and we can do this by going bracket 11 squared plus. 13 squared minus 2 times 11 times 13 times 38 cosine. and then close the bracket and we get 64.6289 and so we need to take the square root of that and the way we do this on this um, PC calculator is by clicking on inverse and x squared is the square root. So then the answer is C is approximately equal to 8.0 So, as with the sine law, the formula for cosine, for the cosine law, can be adapted to other triangles based on the way that we name the vertices and sides of the triangle. So, what we're going to do is use this formula for a situation where we have triangle DEF, and we can, if we're given angle measures that, and side lengths, then we can, um, in the two situations, remember we are given the two sides and the contained angle, or we're given three sides, we can use the cosine law. In this case here, we want to write the cosine law using this version if we're looking to find side D. Okay, so this is the form where we're trying to find a side length. So what I'd like you to do is write this equation based on finding side D.